Hi, I'm Kristen Monroe, owner of Ultimate Web Design. Welcome to Field Trip Fridays, episode number two. Today we are here with Mike Cole, owner of Tuber's Edge. Tuber's Edge is located right here in Marshalltown. Mike, could you please tell us a little bit about how this works, how you got started, what it is exactly that you offer? Uh, well, basically we started Tuber's Edge this spring, and how it works is you go online. If you, if you have internet access, you can reserve online. We have a full reservation system. Uh, you reserve your spot, re reserve your entire group. You come out to Tuber's Edge, set up camp if you're going to camp. At that point, once you're all settled in, you come up and we do go through the check-in process, which entails signing a waiver and bringing your photo ID. Once everyone's checked in, we put everyone on the bus, uh, including you, your tubers, your friends. Everybody gets on the bus, and then we take off and shuttle everyone upriver to Timmins Grove. Uh, those of you not familiar with where Timmins Grove is, it's located over by Albion, upriver. We put you in, we tie your cooler tubes and your dry tubs, your trash tubs, we tie that all together and send you off down the river. Once you float somewhere between three to four hours, we pick you up at the, the takeout point, which is somewhere over by uh, Center Street Dam. We pull you out of the river, get you back on the bus. If anyone needs to stop and come and go to, to buy more refreshments, whatever it might be, we'll, we'll do a quick stop there and then come back out to Tuber's Edge for sand volleyball, we have bags, we have camping, we have uh, an on-site uh, lake behind us. Uh, Saturday nights we'll have either a band or a DJ. Uh, if there's enough people that are reserved for that weekend, we'll have live entertainment out here. Occasionally we'll have barbecued small pulled pork sandwiches available. Um, so do you sell alcohol on the premises? No, we don't. It's, it's BYOB. Okay. Um, basically, bring if you want to bring your own food, basically just like camping anywhere else, except we've combined camping with the tubing adventure and the sand volleyball and the bags and the live entertainment. So it's a, it's a, it's a great experience outside of the realm of normal camping. Now, you have some camping spots with electricity and all of the fun amenities besides water. Is that right? Yes. We okay. have a few electrical spots. Uh, we'll be adding more this fall as well as some, some additional trees out in the open area to create more camping spots. So that's something we'll be expanding on for, for quite a while. Wonderful. Um, I am curious, you said that it takes three to four hours to float the river. I assume that that has a lot to do with how high the river level is at the time, right? It does. It's somewhere between seven and eight miles <clears throat> for, to float that distance. Uh, right now, as everyone I think is aware of, the, the river levels have been extremely high. So when, when it goes back down to roughly 12 to 13 feet where the gauge is, we it might take three hours, three to three and a half hours somewhere in there, and then uh, you know, and then we'll bust you back here. And, and like I say, you can you can float on the pond afterwards if you if you haven't had enough water yet, or, or if the kids if you don't want to put the kids in that high of water. You can bring them out and they can float on the pond just the same. Make sure when you come that you mention to Mike or his wonderful wife, Allison, that you saw this on Field Trip Fridays from Ultimate Web Design.